My name is Megan and I'm here today with the art cart to teach you all about how to make tinfoil monoprints. This is a really incredible project that is inspired by John Colt, an artist who has work at the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art right now. John Colt's work is full of dreamy shapes and abstract patterns and you'll be able to do those exact same things in your tinfoil monoprints today. All right, let's get started. Your included materials will be tinfoil, cardstock paper, washable tempera paint, a paper plate, a paintbrush, a cotton swab, string, and a comb. Some optional materials that you'll see me use in this video include plants and vegetable oil, but if you can find other things at home to create textures like lace or forks, you should definitely try and experiment. Something I want to explain before we begin is the fact that prints are transferred to paper in reverse of how you put them onto your tin foil. Knowing that, do you think the top or the bottom of this page will be readable once it is printed? If you guessed the bottom of the page, you are correct. This is an important thing to keep in mind while you're making your print. Without further ado, let's get started painting. As you can see, I've mixed together my three colors on my paper plate to create a wide variety of new colors. I recommend you try doing this too because it's a really fun process and it can lead you to a lot more different color experiments. As you're putting your colors on your tin foil, remember to keep a delicate balance between how thin and thick your paint goes on. You don't want it to be too thick because the paint will blob once it is printed, but you also don't want it to be too thin because it can dry out. It's definitely better for your paint to be thinner rather than thicker, and I would also recommend not letting your paint dry for more than five minutes at a time. You always have the option to add more layers in the future, so don't worry about filling up every space right away. So now I'm at a point where I feel ready to make my print. I will start by taking my cardstock and then pressing it down firmly over my tin foil. Use one hand to hold your cardstock in place and use the palm of your other hand to press down and really push your paper against the tin foil so all the paint transfers over to it. Wow, so now you can see your beautiful print has transferred over. If you would like to be done with your tinfoil print, you are more than welcome to do that, but if you would like to add more layers, you can do that as well. Paint on the same tinfoil exactly the way that you did before, and you can just keep adding layers. I would not recommend adding more than two extra layers to your tinfoil, otherwise the paint can get a bit globby. So now I will demonstrate using a couple of the other materials you have in your bag. One of them is this string, which I will layer over the blue dot that I made in the center, and that will make a really interesting texture when it transfers. You can also use your Q-tip to black out spaces and add dots around your tin foil. Let's see how this turns out. So now you can take your same print and layer it in the same spot you had it before. Try and line it up exactly and do the same thing again. Hold it down with one hand, press down with your palm, and then reveal your gorgeous final image. Wow, so now you can see I have finished this print and I'm going to be doing one more print just to show you guys how to use some other fun materials. So now I'm starting my second print and I'm going to be putting down a big block of color. You want to make sure when you're putting down the color you keep it pretty thin, otherwise the texture that you put in it won't show up. I'm going to use my comb and drag my comb through it to make some gorgeous little lines. Let's see how they turn out. So now you can see the texture of my comb has transferred over to my print. So for my next layer, I've put down two blocks of color and I am going to layer string on top of one and put a leaf on top of the other one. On top of the leaf, you'll take some paint and put a thin layer of paint on top. You really don't want too much because you want it to pick up on the texture of the leaf. 
Then you will do the same thing as before. Take your paper, press it down, and reveal the beautiful textures of your images. Now I'd like to show you one final technique with vegetable oil. This is a really cool technique that the other art cart leader, Renee, taught me how to do. You will mix vegetable oil with your paint, and because water and oil don't like to mix, the paint and the oil will separate to form a really fascinating texture. I will show this to you by painting this little rectangle in the corner of my print, and if you do this at home, you'll be able to watch how the paint and the oil slowly separate from each other once they go onto the print. This is a really great technique if you end up deciding you want to layer your colors. And now if you look at our image, you can see all the gorgeous separation that happened in our print. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about mono prints from it. Be sure to follow our social media and also send us your projects if you get the chance. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much and have a nice day!